decided this week I wanted to talk about feminism. Because I hate men! <laughs> Actually, feminism is really different from that. The myth that we have about feminism right now, and that we have had for several decades, is that feminists hate men, they're a bunch of lesbians, and they have really hairy legs and they're crazy. The thing about feminism is that there are many different types of feminists, and they all have different perspectives, just like within Christianity, there are many, many different types of denominations and different beliefs within those denominations. A really important thing that I like to explain about feminism is that it really deals with equality and justice for everyone, not just women. It did start as, fem as feminism for females to get them to, be, to have equal opportunities to men, but then it also started to incorporate different races, different genders, different sexes, different classes, and that's really important about feminism. Feminism is about social justice. It works towards equality and justice for all genders, races, sexes, and classes. This is because with this history that we have had with patriarchal systems in most, most cultures, there hasn't been a specific movement fighting for all of those things. And once feminists realized that they were starting to be able to rewrite history and discover all these things that weren't considered because maybe it had been done by a woman, or maybe it had been done by a black woman, so then it was considered even less important than what a white woman might have done. So feminism kind of took all these things together and looked at the intersections of how different things could be experienced. In women's studies, there's something that we call intersectionality, so where all of these different aspects come together. A gay black woman would have a completely different experience than a Chinese woman who was really, really rich and would face different types of oppression. Not all women experience the same things. Feminism also serves to affirm and celebrate the things that women have done in the past, which I think is really cool. It's interesting to if you take a history course, they don't always talk about women or specific roles that women have had. We really need good examples of women being leaders. There's still a stereotype that I see where if a woman is a strong leader, she's a bitch. And that's really hard for me to see because there's so many great women leaders out there. Out of all of the Fortune 500 companies in Canada, only 4% of the CEOs are women. We need far more examples of that because if people continue to see women as bad leaders, those women, no other woman will ever be given a chance to be a leader. The final thing is, in feminism we really like to talk about education. Education is so important so that everyone can have a better life. If people are given more opportunities to have education and take those opportunities, their communities will do better. There's so many examples. If you educate girls in communities, they will experience less poverty in their lifetime and their entire community will do better because they have been given more education and no different solutions to problems than they would have had before. And they have the opportunity to go further with their lives. I want to tell you guys a story about one of my English classes one day. My professor came in to class wearing a shirt that said, bitch, make me a sandwich and she explained that there was a girl in fine arts who was doing a project about retaking, reclaiming those words. And so she asked us, how many of you consider yourselves feminists? And about 25 people out of 100 raised their hands. And then she asked, all right, how many of you believe that the women sitting around you deserve to be here learning? Everyone raised their hands. How many of you believe that the women around you deserve to vote? Everyone raised their hands yet again. And finally she asked, how many of you believe that the women around you deserve to choose with who and how and when they have sex? And everyone raised their hands. And she said, all right, that qualifies you as a feminist. And there were giggles around the class and I looked around to see what their expressions were. And there are so many guys in the class who were kind of like, I would have never thought of myself as a feminist before because 
feminism sounds as if it's something that only angry women can do. But I think it's really important to look at how we define ourselves. I will always consider myself a feminist, even though right now there's a debate about maybe the word feminism doesn't need to exist anymore. Because since it incorporates equality and social justice for different genders, races, classes, and sexes, maybe that just all falls unto, under social justice, and we don't need this word. I don't know. I find it really important, and I want to know what you guys think. If you have any questions about feminism, make sure to leave them down below, or make a video response. That'd be cool too. Do you consider yourself a feminist? Why and why not? Is it important? Later.